do. <laughs> Yo, yo, what's happening? It's your boys, Nick Che and Elliot Choi. Today we have the collab video that you guys have been waiting for. Wait, why is you it said col col You said collab? Collab. Collab? I like collab. Because it's like collaboration. <laughs> guys, it's like, it's literally 1.30 a.m. right now and we have to get up early tomorrow to shoot more videos, so. But today we can talk about... <laughs> you choose, bro, you choose. Um, but today we're going to do a video about how to choose your college. Both of us are sophomores. I attend Princeton University. Elliot is at Vanderbilt. He's a business major. I'm an econ major and we both have similar interests with entrepreneurship, photography, and film. So we felt that, you know, those are some pretty overlapping qualities that we can share with you guys. Jumping right into how to pick a college, there are a lot of different varieties and factors that will probably influence your decision. Obviously, number one is probably geography. You should definitely look into how close that school is to, you know, wherever you're centrally located. You know, personally coming from Dallas, Texas, moving to the East Coast was a huge change. And um, I know for Elliot that we, he's also on the East Coast. So, you know, that's definitely something to get acclimated to, especially the weather. Um, if you've never, you know, dealt with like brutal cold winters, then like you should definitely get ready for that. Uh, another really important consideration is financial aid. Obviously, you want to be going to college where you can afford it and it's not going to be too much of a financial burden. And although it would be ideal for Finance is not to be a huge factor. Unfortunately, it definitely is an important factor to consider. I would also recommend looking into outside scholarships. So there are tons of organizations and companies that offer scholarships for students um, that are applying to colleges. So it honestly is the early bird gets the worm. So if you do your research and get on that early, then you'll be ahead of the game and you'll have a lot more opportunities than you realize were available just through your regular school's financial aid. Another big thing is certain schools will give more financial aid than other schools. So definitely do your research on that if it's an important factor for you. A major pro tip is also like if you have a good financial aid package from one school, use that to leverage it against the another school and say, you know, X school is giving me certain amounts of money. Can we take a look at how to reevaluate the financial aid package? Moving on, I think another thing is obviously look at the majors that are offered at your school. To be honest, when I went into Princeton, I didn't realize that it was a liberal arts college, meaning that I would have to take a variety of courses and they wouldn't have a bunch of different majors necessarily pertaining to the specifics that I'm interested in, which is why I'm doing economics. But, you know, if you go to school like NYU, Vanderbilt, USC, there are obviously a lot more majors and I think LA can talk more on that. So I guess going off of what Nick said, that education program is really going to be different for different schools. So for example, I attend Vanderbilt University and I say I study business, but actually there's no business school at Vanderbilt. So if I really wanted a technical background in business, I would definitely be looking more into those business schools. Vanderbilt is a liberal arts school, so I kind of get more of a general education, broader education value. Um, and that's fine with me. But if you're looking for something specific, then make sure you're looking for those specific programs. Before you go into picking any college, it's very important that you do extensive research into, you know, obviously like the programs they offer, the, you know, some alumni networking, what professors are teaching there right now. And also, you know, look on YouTube, see if there are, you know, day in the life or college vlogs. And that's obviously how we both got our start. We realized that there was a niche for that in the YouTube community and we, you know, kind of took advantage of that. So definitely look on YouTube, see what's happening and see if you can reach out to either fellow alumni of your high school who are also at that campus or, you know, mutual friends or people that your family would know. You know, as both of us go to very top tier schools, reputation and, and the name brand of the school, you know, obviously is important and, and I would never say that that didn't play a factor into either of our college decisions, knowing that we go to some of the top most prestigious universities in the country and honestly in the world, um, that definitely has a lot of attractiveness and appeal, but I wouldn't say that necessarily you need to attend an Ivy League school just for the name, um, you know, really make sure that it's the right fit for you. Don't just go to Harvard because it's Harvard, go because you're genuinely passionate about, you know, the, the topics that they offer and the professors that are teaching there. A lot of people actually message us and ask what made us choose our college. And to be honest, what makes us choose our colleges is not going to be the same thing for uh, what you, you guys consider in terms of picking a college. And this is super important because as is true with any advice, you have to understand that the advice that someone gives you uh, is the advice that they would give themselves, but they are not you as a person. What's your name? Me. Yes, you. I am me. He's me. And I'm you. And I'm about to whoop your old ass, man, because I'm sick of playing games. You, me, everybody's ass around here. Him, I'm going to kick his ass. I'm sick of it. And you value different things. You have different morals. And, and in general, what you consider is going to be different. So keep that in mind, even when you ask us about what 
to consider for picking a college or even if you ask for classmen, just keep in mind that that advice is relevant to them, but it might not necessarily pertain to you. Also, when considering geography, it's really important to understand that you're not only picking your school for the next four years, but you're also picking a place to live. So the cities nearby, the life, the college towns, the, the lifestyle outside of campus is also very important because you want to make sure that you're living a life outside of school. So for both of us, we do live near very close um, bustling downtown. So obviously I'm close to New York City, he's close to Nashville. Um, to having the opportunity to take a train and get out of the school when you need to is you know, a big breath of relief. So you know, look into that if that's something that's important to you. Like Elliot was saying, you are essentially picking your home for the next four years. So take into all accounts, obviously weather, like we mentioned before, that's, and obviously that's not something we can control, but not that that really changes my decision of coming here because it obviously is a great school and you know we can't you know deny the opportunities that have been given to us so we're obviously very grateful and you know everything we say obviously take with a grain of salt and make sure that you know it's applicable to you and, and what you want to do with your life. So miscellaneous stuff is obviously looking to alumni networking we've mentioned that before but it's super important to get in touch with the people that have graduated from your school and see you know what they are able to do with whether it's your specific degree that you have and what they're doing in the career world now is you know really beneficial for you to see what opportunities you can get out of your school but also you know what is in store for the future also try to search for some of the negatives in a school when you're asking a current student about their opinions on their school make sure you're asking them about what are some elements of that school that they don't like and for the most part students are going to be pretty honest because they aren't obligated to the school that they represent and having that inside information is going to help you get an idea of what might not necessarily be on the college's front page Another big thing is if you have the opportunity, we highly recommend going on campus tours or college tours, seeing if you can you know, either road trip out there or get a plane ticket, especially during the school year, they're not that expensive. So getting on campus, setting foot and imagining yourself as a student there is the best way to you know, really realize if a school is a fit for you. My English teacher in high school told me that you know, once you step on a college campus, you'll know if it's the right fit. So if something doesn't click right away, then you know, give it some time. And if it's still not settling well in your stomach and you know that your gut is telling you something else, then you know, for me personally, I think it's always important to follow your gut and, and just tell you and go where your heart belongs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Moving on to the social aspects of a college campus, um, on a college tour it is kind of hard to kind of gauge how the student body really feels and, and is like on a day-to-day -day basis. So the best recommendation is obviously talk to current students, once again check on YouTube, see if you can you know either message people that are already there and once again reach out to you know past alumni from your high school, see if anyone can get you in contact. We're fucking ridiculous, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, there are a lot of factors to consider when picking out a college. There's not any tips or you know one size fits all tricks that we can really give you guys to really help you determine the right college for you. But we hope that this has made the process a little bit easier as we know that like decisions are about to come out. Once again, you know, take into consideration all the uh, variables and factors that will you know really genuinely affect the next four years of your life. Obviously, talk to your family and your friends because their opinion is valued as well. But at the end of the day, the decision should be made up to you. It shouldn't be left up to anyone else. Genuinely go where your heart feels right. That's a really good point. Like in high school, your parents have a lot of say over your life because you live under their roof. And even if your parents are helping to fund college, really college is your life, you taking control. So don't let other people influence your decision too much. Really, it, is, it comes down to what you want. Anyways, that about wraps up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this first collab. Col collab. A collaboration video. <laughs> um, make sure to go check out Elliot. I will have his channel linked down below. Tomorrow's gonna be a crazy, hectic, busy day, but we will make sure to keep you guys in tune for that. So, <laughs> so make sure to hit that like button, comment down for more videos, and as always, don't, don't stress. stress. Finesse. Finesse. <laughs> <laughs>